Hello everyone. So I want to make a couple of videos, small videos on uh, e Emacs, org mode and uh, LaTeX, LaTeX, I hope I'm saying it correctly, LaTeX, LaTeX, export to PDF. Now this year I have uh, moved most of my document production <laughs> that I was doing using uh, Google Docs or LibreOffice all these years. I have actually moved it to of course org mode and uh, I have made few videos, in fact, a lot of videos on uh, LaTeX export, especially PDF. But I am now taking it a bit further. So for example, I have been using uh, org mode for writing books and exporting it to PDF. Working fine so far. I have been using uh, org mode for writing my contracts, proposals, which I sent to my clients. Yes, I'm actually using it for production, I guess. Now, today I was also, because you know, when you are dealing with people, you need uh, like a letterhead. So yes, I do have a letterhead, which was earlier in LibreOffice, which I'm now of course moving to org mode. Now, when it comes to org mode, uh, or when it comes to, because of, when I was writing my client proposal, I, I was not really looking for like, detailed letterhead with logo and address and everything because letterhead is slightly different from uh, you know because when you have like a lengthy document you don't need yeah, like like your logo on each and every page it is a bit of a distraction but when you are uh, let us say sending someone let us say some kind of let us say offer letter or uh, uh, a one one page letter then you need a letterhead right now or some kind of a certificate so i was doing that today and i thought okay i'll show you a few things um in this video, let us focus on a uh, couple of things. Let us focus on this, uh, this, this, this header and footer. So in this particular document, I have this header and of course a footer. Now, both my header and footer uh, right now, uh, they have a logo. And uh, I mean, my, my, my header has a, has, a, has a logo along with this horizontal line. My footer has uh, again uh, this horizontal line with maybe some text and you know this page number which i guess i'll probably remove let me show you the head of the, the file that i use the late latex latex header file or basically the file which i include the setup file B basically when you um, are trying to use emacs for pdf production you can have different set of files so for this particular set of file is uh, basically my letterhead file now most of the configurations are quite you know, standard which I have been using, but I did few changes. The main change was that on my on, on my on my header, I am basically using on the top right corner. So basically, header has two sections, left and right. So basically, on the right header, I have this uh, include graphics, where I am uh, basically d defining the width, like the width of the logo, and. Uh, the actual logo, which is basically the complete path. I want to keep, I don't really want uh, the same image to be present in multiple folders. So I just have the entire path, um, which is fine, I guess. I don't really want to use the home, like the tilde sign because my Emacs home is not really my home uh, in my OS. It is basically its own directory because I use Emacs as a, in, a, in a portable. I, I use basically your Emacs folder, which is portable. Uh, not a lot these days, but uh, basically my Emacs home is different, is different because whenever I start my Emacs, the home variable for Emacs is set to that particular directory, not really my Linux home. And then um, for the horizontal line, I think I did make a video on this. You just need to inc include this foot rule width. And this is actually coming from this package called fancy HDR. So make sure you are using this package and uh, uh, you can do the same thing. For I mean, if, if you if you do this foot rule width, it will add those um, those uh, horizontal and horizontal lines in header and footer. The the thing that you need to uh, be uh, aware of that when you include footer the not footer but the horizontal line, it will not appear on the title page. And by the way, this is not the title page because in my in my Emacs options, and now I'm very fuzzy because there is some low light. Okay, anyways, so maybe I can just start the camera again. 
why not this is better okay perfect so basically in the setup file you can see oh, i mean not the setup file but the options i'm basically hiding my title so basically the entire title page is not there because i don't need title i just need one letter. i mean i can probably use title differently but no i don't need it to be honest and and that is it this is something uh, i thought i'll probably share because this might be useful yeah one more thing one more thing uh by default org mode will not preserve the um line breaks but you can actually include this in your options on top slash uh backslash n colon t and it will preserve the um the line breaks if i remove it let's let us do a demo hello and uh, now this looks not massively great but you get the idea there is also another way to include this line break because usually i don't really keep my line breaks uh because i this is my default format because i use uh, i rely I rely on um i rely on uh, the org formatting uh because i use headers subheaders but in because this is just one page right so in just one page i i want to keep it very simple and i thought um i'll just maybe um use this option to keep things simple for me and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye